Hello, welcome to Charm Flossy channel. How are you doing? Hopefully you are doing well. My name is Lady Means and this video is going to be all about makeup. If you follow me on social media, you know, Facebook or Instagram, you should know that I'm a big makeup fan. And obviously I have the makeup imprint of part of Charm Flossy, which is a false with Amina. And for Flossies with Amina, we have a Facebook group where I constantly do tutorials and I talk about the products that I like, products that I don't like, what I use, you know, why do I use them, how do I use them. And with that, I want to kind of do a series on my makeup products. So that's where the Flawless Bag comes from, where I'm going to be talking about the different products that I have in my makeup bag for different occasions, different settings, different places, different styles, etc. So this video is all about the Simple Flawless Bag, which is pretty much the makeup that I use for basic looks or simple looks. So not my full glam, not my night makeup, not my go down makeup, just like my very simple makeup, which is kind of what I have going on in my face right now. So I'm going to tell you guys about the products that I'm using and why I like them, why I chose them. Just going to give you guys a bit of an insight into the Flawless Bag. So the first thing that I have are my primers. So I have two primers that I generally use, and I just recently started using one of them. So I have my Glorious Primer from Unique, and I've been using this primer for about two and a half, three years now. Then I have my Becca Primer that I've only been using for a couple of months. I think only just about two months, actually. So I've actually been using primers for um, about four years, and I pretty much never do my makeup without a primer now. And primers are great for minimizing pores. If you have dry skin, getting a hydrogen primer is really great to make your skin look flawless. If you have oily skin, get in an um, oil-free um, primer. Primer is going to absorb those oils, or controlling primers are great for that. If you have big pores, get a primer is going to make you help your pores minimize. It's good. So primers can do so much for your makeup. And then even with like your eyeshadow, having a primer is going to help your makeup, your eyeshadow not crease. It's going to help your eyeshadow stay on, help it be more pigmented. So primers are like you need to have, you should have one in your makeup bag. Like you should not do your makeup without a primer ever. They're definitely a must-have. So after I do my primer, I always color correct, and I've been color correcting for three and a half years now, and I've used a couple different brands, but like the one that just one hands down is definitely the Ella Girl Pro Conceal, and I pretty much always use the orange color corrector, color corrector. There are different colors based on what you're trying to color correct, and the aim of color correct is essentially to get your face to have like an even base before you put on your foundation. Um, so if you have acne, you might use, you know, an orange one, you might use a green one to cover like the, some of the red um, acne, if you have blackheads. I primarily use orange one because I am darker skin tone. The only thing that I really like to color correct are a little bit of hyperpigmentation on my face or some dark circles so they don't peek through my foundation. And honestly, like I said, the Elegar Pro Conceal is the best one, hands down. I mean, I've tried the Makeup Forever once, I've tried a few other brands, and this one always wins. Like, yeah, I have actually have all the shades of color correctors, but the orange one is one that I pretty much always carry. I also use the green one here and there, so orange and green are definitely like my go to color correctors that I need for my face. And depending on your skin tone and your blemishes, you're going to alternate which colors. You know, there's peach, there's lavender, there's light orange, there's yellow, so it definitely depends. And the next thing we're going to go into is our concealers. So I have three concealers here. So two of them are from the Elegar Pro Conceal brand. And I don't use this like conceal in the traditional sense of concealing. So first is Toast. And I use this to cover my eyebrows. So this actually shouldn't really be here because I don't cover them. I don't do my eyebrows for simple looks. As you can see, my eyebrows are just all natural right now. I only do my eyebrows for more of like glam looks, night looks, you know, very like I'm doing a lot. So this shouldn't even be here, but I brought it anyway. So this is Toast. This is about four shades lighter than me. So I would use it to conceal put on my eyebrows to carve it out you know make it the shape that I want and then I have the beautiful bronze which is a shade lighter than my normal tone this is what I use to prime and to prep my eyelids so I put this on after I put on my primer and this is going to also have my eyeshadow pop out more help it not crease so this is definitely like I mean like you need one so you always go with the shade that's a shade lighter two shade lighter usually shade lighter is the best so I put this on and then I set out which is the setting powder and then I put my eyeshadow on and like my eyeshadow will not budge with this. It's perfect. And the last one is my Mineral Touch Skin Perfecting Concealer from Unique. This is in suede, so this is the shade that matches my foundation. And let me tell you guys about this. So I was never a big concealer person, like ever, until I started using this. And this gives me such great coverage. I use it for my under eye circles. If I have any like, you know, acne here and there, I use it. It's also great for if I don't want to use like a, pot, like a um, liquid foundation, I will mix this and put it on my face just a little bit here and there. Then I'll put a powder foundation on top and you guys, I go from no coverage to full coverage. And usually pressed powder foundations only ever give you like light to medium coverage. With this, I'll have full coverage on. Like I actually did a live yesterday and I looked like I had full coverage on, but I, all I used was a little bit of concealer. Not all over my face, just literally just like my under eye, a couple spots here. I didn't spread it all over because I knew you felt cakey. So I used a little bit and I put my pressed powder on, I got full coverage. So this is definitely like, yeah, I love this stuff. I also sometimes put some on my 
foundation brush and mix it with my liquid foundation to again give me more coverage so i'm using less of both products but it, like maximizing the coverage that it gives me and then the next thing are foundations so so again i use it a bunch of different foundations but i'm only going over like what are like my gen generic like my go-to's and for that is my mineral touch um, liquid foundation from unique so i use suede but i also sometimes mix it with georgia so suede is actually my normal skin tone but when i mix with georgia i feel like it gives me this additional glow so it's kind of what i have now a little bit of suede, a little bit of georgia mixed together I feel like it gives me a great glow and this foundation dries into a matte powder finish sometimes i want a more of a dewy finish so if i want to use that foundation but still like a dewy look and not matte i'll mix a bit of setting spray on my brush and i kind of hydrate it a little bit more because i've kind of been getting over like the matte foundation look lately but yeah so there's that and then powder foundation i use my menor touch press powder and suede so this matches with this and this so sometimes so this also gives me medium coverage and sometimes like i said i will use this and this and not liquid foundation so it's really great for like my five minutes i have to get out the house look but i use this a lot to like to set so i use this in the top of my liquid foundation for you know around the kind of like my contours and stuff so i use that there and then to set i use my touch people which is a setting powder from unique so i use this for to set my eyelids so when i prep them i also use them for my under eye to bake a little bit that's pretty much what i use this for so i love this setting powder because it's really is translucent but it still has like a little bit of like a glow to it. It's really nice. And then just go with another, it's more of a finishing powder. It's the NYX one. This is what I use on both all of my makeup to kind of make, make everything come together and kind of get everything to seal and stay on longer. This is probably one of the first things that I've ever almost had paint on. This is the NYX finishing powder. It's, it's really good. So yeah, I put it on both all of my makeup so that everything stays. It can help since affix to each other. It's great. And then for a little bit of like a glow, and I don't want a full highlighter, which if I'm doing a simple look, I'm not going to go for a full on highlight. I use this Beachtron Break Big Bronzer, and it has it has a matte side and a shimmer side. It's kind of just like just a little bit on, it just gives me a bit of a glow. That's like, like a bit of like a sun kissed glow, I like to call it. So it's not a full on highlight, but just give, gives me a little bit of shimmer. So again, it's perfect for a very simple look. And then when it comes to my eyes. My go-to for a simple, what I'm wearing now is the Dixie Shadow Palette number one, and it's all browns. So I actually dropped this palette from like my top shelf, so a crack. I dropped it, it was like two or three weeks ago. But this is, yeah, so you see Chipper, one of the few eyeshadows I've had pan on, and it's because it's always like my go-to for natural looks. So it's, it's very brown, very neutral, so it fits my skin tone perfectly. And then for my lashes, so I've gotten into using the Mushuk Epic Mascara. So I used to use the Fire Lashes Plus, but this is a one step. So again, for simple looks, it's perfect for that. And then last one is my lips. So I don't really have like a generic lipstick per se. So usually if I'm going for a simple look, I sometimes just go with chapstick, you know, or a tinted lip balm, so not really lipstick. Or I would go for, I kind of call it my signature, it's what I have now. And it's from LA Girl. It's LA Girl Cream Lipsticks, and it's kind of what I have now. And I love it. So if you, most of my videos, I'm either wearing this or I'm wearing like a more of a nudie one. But they're both from LA Girl, um, LA Girl Cosmetics. So that's pretty much it. Um, except for, oops, I forgot my setting spray. So um, Behold, Touch Behold Setting Spray is what I use to kind of put everything together, fix it all up. Um, I also use the Makeup Forever Fix and Mist Setting Spray as well. And that's like the last thing, especially because I live in Abu Dhabi where it's over 100 degrees in the summer. Setting spray is definitely a must-have so that I'm not sweating my makeup off during the day and whatnot. So that's pretty much it. That is my simple flawless back. Thank you for tuning in. Again, this series is going to continue where I'm going to do, you know, my full glam flawless bag and just kind of all the different series my travel flawless bags what i take when i go out on trips which is a whole like project in itself i mean you've seen my pictures i think i post pictures before on instagram when i pack my makeup for traveling and it is a bit of a lot depending on where i'm going um hopefully you enjoyed if you have any questions let me know in the description i'm going to drop a link to the philosophy with amina facebook group so you can join i do tutorials two times a week get ready with me videos i do giveaways it's you know people ask questions it's very informative very interactive we have people who are brand new beginners to makeup people who are you know we do makeup for a very long time so it's generally a very fun in groups so if you have any questions definitely join in stay tuned for the rest of this series and i'm so glad to have you guys here thanks for watching